What's going on everybody? It's your boy Ken Andrew Daly and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a zip up tee from scratch. Now I have been planning to do this tutorial forever. I actually designed this at the beginning of this year but I never got around to do it. But here is the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy it. And yeah, let's just get straight into the tutorial. So for this tutorial, you're going to need cutting tools, a measuring tape, an iron, a bunch of pins, a ruler, a sewing machine with straight and zigzag stitch, three yards of fabric, and a separating zipper. You're also going to need a zipper tee template, which you can find a tutorial to make one on my blog spot. I'll put a link to that post in the video description. I'll be splitting the tutorial into two parts. The first part will be focusing on the individual pieces and the second part will be focusing on putting everything together. Anyways, let's get started. First things first, we are going to cut out the body pieces. There are three body pieces total. First we're going to work with the back piece. Grab the fabric you want to use and double up on it by folding it over. Get your body template and fold it in half. On the fold of the fabric, you want to place the folded part of the template. Pin the template into place and cut around it. If you did everything correctly, you should end up with a back body piece like this. Next, we're going to add a paneled part to the body piece. Grab your panel template and fold the first line. Get a marking tool and trace along the template. Undo the fold and fold along the second line of the template. Trace along the template again. Undo the fold one last time and this time you don't need to fold anything, just trace the template. You should end up with three lines. You want to cut along the first one. Now grab your other fabric. Place your panel template over it and pin it into place. Proceed to cut around the template. Take the panel piece back to your body piece. With the body piece faced up, you want to place the panel piece face down over it. Proceed to pin the two pieces together. Here's an example of how the pinning should look. Take the body piece to your sewing machine and sew along the middle line that we marked. Next we need to hem the seam. Get your iron and open up the seam. Use your iron to flatten it. On each side of the seam, you want to fold the raw edge inwards. Use pins to keep the folds in place. When you're done, your pinning should look like this. Take the piece to the sewing machine and do a straight stitch along each fold. Next, we're going to hem the curve at the bottom of the body template. Grab your curve template in any fabric that you want to use. Take your curve template and fold it in half. Take your fabric and vertically fold it. Then you want to horizontally fold it. Place the folded part of the curved template along the horizontal fold and pin it into place. Proceed to cut around the template. You should end up with two curved pieces. For one of the curved pieces, you want to cut it in half, so do a simple cut in the middle. These pieces will be used for your front panel, which we're going to work on later. Now you want to go back to your body piece. Have the right side of the body piece faced up. Take the curved piece and place it face down along the bottom. Proceed to pin the pieces together. Here's an example of how the pinning should look. Now take the body piece to the sewing machine and do a straight stitch along the bottom edge. After you're done sewing, you want to grab your iron. Flip the body piece so the wrong side is showing. Take the curved piece and flip it onto the wrong side of the body piece. Use your iron to crease the fold. Afterwards, use pins to keep the fold in place. Here's how the pinning should look. Take it to your sewing machine and sew down the curved piece with two straight stitches. Next, we're going to hem the sides of the body piece. Go to both sides of the body piece and double fold the raw edges. Use an iron to keep the fold down and pins to keep everything in place. Here's an example of the pinning. Take the body piece to the sewing machine and do a straight stitch along the folds. Next we're going to create and prep the front body pieces. It's pretty much the same process as the back body piece so I'll speed through this section. 
Again, grab the fabric that you want to use and double up on it. Get your body template and place it over the fabric. Do not, I repeat, do not place the body template along the fold of the fabric. Pin the template in place and cut around it. While the two pieces are together, you want to cut a 1 inch curve along the neckline like this. It doesn't really need to be exactly like mine. You make it somewhat different, it doesn't really matter. But anyways, you should end up with two identical pieces like this. Next we're going to hem the bottom of the front pieces. Get the two pieces that we cut earlier. We're going to repeat what we did for the back body piece. With the body piece faced up and the curved pieces face down, you want to pin the two pieces together. Here's how the pinning should look. Take it to your sewing machine and do a straight stitch along the bottom side of both pieces. Get your iron and have the wrong side of the fabric facing up. Flip the curved pieces and iron the fold. Use pins to keep things in place. Here's a quick look of the pinning. Take the body piece to your sewing machine and do two straight stitches along the curved piece. Last thing to do is hem the sides of the front panels. On each side of the front panels, you want to double fold the raw edges. Use an iron to crease the fold and pins to keep it down. Here's an example of how the pinning should look. Take the front panel pieces to the sewing machine and do a straight stitch along the folds. Next we're going to cut and sew the sleeves. Grab the fabric that you want to use for the sleeves and your sleeve template. Fold your sleeve template in half. After that, you want to vertically fold your fabric. Then horizontally fold the fabric. Place the fold of the sleeve template along the vertical fold of the fabric. Pin the template in place and proceed to cut along the template. You should end up with two sleeve pieces like this. Now we're going to hem the end of the sleeve. Have the wrong side of the fabric facing up. Simply double fold the raw end and pin it into place. Here's how the pinning should look for both sleeves. Go to your sewing machine and do two straight stitches along the fold. Next we're going to close up the sleeves. With the sleeves inside out and the ends matching, you want to take the bottom of the sleeve and double fold it. Use pins to keep the fold in place. Here's how the pinning should look. Take the sleeves to your sewing machine and do a straight stitch along the pins. Next we're going to create the mid strips. Grab the fabric that you want to use and your mid strip template. Double up on your fabric and place the mid strip template over it. Use pins to keep the template in place and cut around it. You want to repeat this one more time for the second mid strip. You should end up with four pieces and two pairs of two. Grab two pieces, one right side up and the other one right side down. Pin the two pieces together and do not pin one of the long sides. Repeat this one more time for the other pair. You should end up with two mid strips and the pinning should look like this. Take it to your sewing machine and do a straight stitch along the pinned area. Now grab your iron. Flip each mid strip right side up and crease the folds with your iron. Take the mid strips to your sewing machine and do a top stitch along the folds. Next we're going to create the collar piece. Grab the fabric that you want to use and the collar template. Double up on your fabric and place your collar template over it. Pin the template into place and cut around it. You should end up with two pieces. Next we're going to sew the two pieces together. With right sides together, pin along the top side of the collar. Now we need to hem the bottom of the collar piece. Get your iron. Fold the bottom part by a centimeter and iron the fold down. Repeat this process for the other side. Take the collar piece to the sewing machine and do a straight stitch along the top side of the collar piece. Again, grab your iron. You want to flip the collar piece right side up and use your iron to crease the collar piece. After the collar piece is nice and flat, you can proceed to add pins along the top side. Go back to your sewing machine and do a top stitch along the pinned area. So this concludes part 1, now we're going to sew everything together. First we are going to add mid strips to the front body pieces. Have the wrong side of the front body pieces facing up, 
place the raw end of the midstrip along the raw end of the body piece and proceed to pin them together. Here's an example of the pinning. Repeat this one more time for the other body piece. Here's how both pieces should look after you're done. Take both pieces to your sewing machine and do a straight stitch along the pins. Grab your iron and have the body pieces right side up. Fold the midstrip onto the right side of the body piece. Proceed to iron down the fold and pin both sides of the midstrip. Here's how the pinning should look. Repeat this one more time for the other side. Take both pieces to the sewing machine and do a straight stitch along both sides of the midstrip. Next we're going to add the zipper. Grab your zipper and the two front pieces. Starting with one of the front pieces, you want to slide the zipper under the body piece. Make sure to fold the extra fabric that's on the zipper. Proceed to pin the zipper along the body piece. Once you're done with one body piece, proceed to do this one more time for the other body piece. Here's how the pinning should look. Take the body piece to your sewing machine and do a straight stitch along both sides of the zipper. Now we're going to sew together all the body pieces. With the back body piece faced up, you want to face down the front body piece over it. Then you want to proceed to pin along these areas. Make sure to pause the video if needed. Take the body piece to the sewing machine and do a zigzag or overlock stitch along the pinned areas. Next we're going to add the sleeves. Grab your body piece and the sleeve pieces. With the body piece inside out and the sleeves right side up, you want to put the narrow end of the sleeve in first. Match the seam of the sleeve to the bottom of the armhole and proceed to pin the sleeve onto the armhole. Once you're done with one side, repeat this one more time for the other side. Here's an example of the pinning. Take the piece to your sewing machine and do a zigzag or overlock stitch to sew in the sleeves. Last piece to sew on is the collar piece. Grab your body piece and your collar piece. Go to the neckline of your body piece. Simply place the collar over the raw neckline and pin it into place. Here's an example of the pinning. Take the body piece to your sewing machine and do a straight stitch along the bottom side of the collar. Always remember to start and end with a back stitch. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up. If you want to see more tutorials, be sure to hit that subscribe button. But anyways, thanks for watching. It's your boy Ken Andy Daily, and I hope to see you guys soon. Peace.